hurt men, strike in our beer, abduct pastor, wife, stab cleric in the chest. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. He was said to have been stabbed in the chest and stomach and is currently receiving treatment at an undisclosed hospital. The cleric identified as Apostle Delight Uzo has been stabbed in the chest by assailants suspected to be Fulani headsmen. Uzo, according to report, was attacked alongside some of his friends in Omahia Abia State. He was said to have been stabbed in the chest and stomach and is currently receiving treatment at an undisclosed hospital. The Facebook user on Friday said another pastor, Ucho Okuru, and his wife were abducted by the attackers. He wrote, Can the Southeast governors with the military and police force claim to be ignorant of the invasion of the Fulani bandits in Ibo land? This is my brother and friend, Apostle Delight Uzo, who was butchered and stabbed at the heart and stomach by Fulani bandits just close to Umahia on Saturday night. He and one other escaped half dead while others were kidnapped, Pastor Ucho Okoro and his wife. Daily, Abia State University students are being kidnapped and some others killed. I can now vividly say that the so-called unknown gunmen are Fulani jihadists. The prelate of the Methodist Church also confirmed that his kidnapping was by the Fulani. I beckon on the political leaders, the Nigerian army and the Nigeria police force to rise and flush them out because there is so much anger in the land already. Meanwhile, Isaac Vito Akachiko on his Facebook page noted that the kidnappers persons that the kidnapped persons had been released after paying a ransom of one million naira. He wrote, Let us pray for Pastor Delight Uzo Chuku. He and other three pastors were kidnapped by Fulani Hertzmen on their way back from Omahia. He was stabbed mercilessly. He escaped as Pastor Uchi Okuro was kidnapped. He and his wife were later released after 1.1 million naira ransom with deep wounds. Nigeria is finished. I do not know what else to say. I visited him today in the hospital with other pastors that came in their number. He is in deep pain. Your prayers are needed. Sincerely, I do not understand. I do not understand whatever is going on. It is high time they left Abia State. They are headsmen. Nigerian government would not do anything to curb the immoral act in Abia State because they are being empowered by them. When we start protecting our terrorists, our territory will be tagged terrorist. Sincerely, I don't understand. What do they want? What again do they want? This is not, it is not, it is not looking like it will get better. It seems they are using soldiers to prevent the citizen from protecting themselves. The other versions is fulfilling their agenda. What is going on? What is going on? It is high time the churches in Southeast support ESN so they can flush this criminal hitman out. This is no longer a battle. God will fight for you. You have to fight for themselves. Imagine, how can we have government and we are praying like this? Like in the same country, in a country where things go normally, that is not abnormal. Do you know that the government of that day, this thing happened when? On Saturday. And today is when? How many days later? This thing happened on Saturday. No news have been heard. No condolences have been given. No action have been, nobody have been given instruction on what to do. Sincerely, we no get government. Loto. This is a total degree to the youth and Abia State. Divine their land from intruders. Thank God the government claimed that they are foreigners. So what are you waiting for? 
The security agencies have overstrapped even them need help and protection. Only our number youth are functioning and active in their wisdom. Are you serious right now? Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you joking? Huh. You go reach everybody. When Mazinam the Khan was warning you people going from country to country to tell you our people what is about to come, some people called him Wamonga, that he wants to cause war. I remember the day he was speaking at one event in USA when Uma was shivering that she doesn't want war. Today, Fulani has brought the war to your doorstep. If you think you're living in a bread that you're safe, don't worry. They will soon kidnap your mother, father, or siblings. I will understand what is happening. Sincerely, this is getting scary. It is getting scary. I don't even know what else to say. This is not supposed to be happening. It is not supposed to be happening at all. Any preposterous act against the people should be dealt with massively and collectively. Every Nigerian knows who are keen to crimes of such magnitude. The hypocrisy and carnage by the government releasing such brutality on its people is a thing of wonder. Without the spirit and shame, they continue to condole criminals and express utmost support without clamping on them nor doing the needful. Such decadence in our security apparatus is something so glaring to the common man. Number one seems safe to speak. In spite of this continuous rigorous attack, I'm telling you the thing is the fact that my fear is that even the government are not even, their body language is like we don't care. There is nothing we can do. Where is Okezi Ibaze with his team of hunters? Dolongi Bobago, funny indeed. ESN is their own, but they won't embrace it because they're under slavery to do the beatings of people in the north. Yet Hijba is in the north freely, operating freely and destroying Igbo businesses and nobody has questioned it. What a terrible set of Igbo rulers. Hmm. Abians, why are you still patronizing this guy despite all the atrocities act against your persons? Abians, rise and take back your land from the, the thing is if these people defend themselves. News people, media people, these same people will come out and start accusing them of being the one perpetrating the evil. They will come and start arresting innocent people. Imagine you'll be complaining that your children, that they're kidnapping them. And one of them now said, oh, why would they be kidnapping them? They will not kidnap them. They're going to fight them to the teeth. Before you know, the one that said they'll fight them. The Nigerian army, that is when you see them swing into action, arresting innocent youth. Sincerely, this really needs to stop. I wonder if they kill everybody, finish, God forbid, who go can remain. On this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.